Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm literally going to do something totally different. I don't really know how it's going to work out but I thought, you know, it's worth a try. So obviously, as you see my videos, I usually do reviews on, say, makeup or places and I also do um, makeup looks and hair looks and things like that. So I thought, let me try something totally different. Because some people might enjoy it, some people think to themselves, oh, you know what, I like it when she does makeup, so let me try it and see how it goes. This week's topic is about being a new mum. And um, if you've watched my most of my videos, you might have already seen that I am a first time mum to a nine and a half month old now. And yeah, it is, um, it's a journey. It's a very amazingly intense, scary journey that you never thought you could predict. Um, I feel like when it comes to these kind of topics, like talking about being a mum or things like that, everyone handles things totally differently. And that is the reason why the world is the way it is, because it's good to have different opinions on things. So. I might say these things today and someone might think, well, I don't feel like that about that and that's absolutely fine because this is based on my opinion and how I feel. So, yeah, um, I am a stay-at-home mom, and I really enjoy it. I enjoy seeing my son grow up and the things that he can do, the way that he develops, I absolutely love it. I did see a post the other day that was saying about stay-at-home moms and saying that People don't see the um, the loneliness of it and people don't see the isolation because you're isolated from so many different people because um, as before you had a job or you might not have had one, um, your life changes dramatically. Um, it changes for the better, of course. Um, I didn't actually mentally prepare myself for having a baby in a sense of I didn't breed upon it or I didn't really ask people for their opinions and stuff like that. I'm the type of person that I take things to what they are. So I, um, when I first had him, I struggled to adjust to this new life in a sense of something that would take me 10 minutes to go to the shop would then take me 45 minutes to make realise that um, society and the environment that we live in kind of gives us the impression that we have to be perfect that you you know there is this such a thing as a perfect mom and you know you need to try and fit in and be that I will tell you from my own experience there's not such thing as a perfect mom you cannot physically and mentally and emotionally enjoy every single moment of being a parent if you have had a bad night with your child and you've woke up in the morning and you think, I feel like absolute poop, you shouldn't feel bad for feeling like that. You're entitled to feel how you feel. Um, I think that people make us feel like we need to, you know, every moment of the day, like, oh yes, I love being a mom. Yeah, it's great. Listen, my son keeps me up sometimes in the night, most of the time in the night. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not happy with it because I've been up all night. But my body has basically learned to adjust to that. But just because I'm not enjoying the mornings doesn't mean that I'm a bad mom. I'm not perfect, no. And I believe as long as my son is looked after, cared, loved for, he's fed, got a roof over his head, that is what matters to me. And I know that I do a good enough job. So I just basically wanted to say that if you are a new mom or if you're pregnant and you're gonna have a baby soon or you could have a few children as well and you could still feel like that. Don't allow the pressures of others or society or the environment make you feel like you are not doing a good job. Because in this world that we live in now, you need to be your own cheerleader. You need to tell yourself, I'm doing a great job. I don't need anybody else to tell me that because I know it myself. Um, I think some people forget as well how hard it was when they had had a baby and that they're like, oh no, I don't go through that anymore. Them sleepless nights are gone now. Yeah, okay, they might have gone through, but it still exists with me. Sometimes you just want someone to understand you. You want to feel like somebody's saying to you, oh yes, I know exactly how you feel. That's exactly what I went through. And I am that type of person. I, I'm not ashamed of certain things. Um, like I said, when I first had my child, I had postnatal depression. I was starting to get it. And I saw that within myself because I wasn't enjoying it like I should have. I was so mentally stressed and drained 
from the pressure of, am I doing good enough? You know, is he happy? All of these kind of things were going through my head and I, I realised that I wasn't even actually enjoying it. I was too busy thinking about all these other things and it does, it takes over you. And I think if you yourself are a mother and you know someone else who is a mother, you know, support one another and have an understanding of what that person is going through. This is a, a this is a human being, this is a baby we're talking about. This is someone that relies on you 24 hours a day. They don't care if you're tired, they don't care if you're hungry, they don't care if you haven't showered for a week. They want what they want and they want it now. And now that he's older, I really enjoy it a lot more. It's, it's, I know what he wants, I know what he doesn't want, I know how to entertain him more. Um, he's kind of getting into a routine now. Don't feel like you have to be perfect, you know. Um, because I see a lot of posts about it and people are starting to talk about it a lot more that you don't always have to be enjoying it. You know, I seen a post the other day on Facebook and um, th there was two pictures next to each other and the lady was laying down, she was drinking a coffee in the garden and she was crying and the picture next to it, she was with her children and she was happy and smiling. She basically said, if your children have been up all night and you've got to wake up early in the morning and then there's a problem, you know, with something else, as human beings, we can't feel, you know, I'm having the best time of my life. People don't see how you feel behind a closed door. They don't see the tears that you cry. They don't see the, the feeling of loneliness and left out and all these kind of things. But there's also a different kind of emotion that comes with being a mother of happiness and waking up in the morning and looking at his little smiling face and, you know, noticing me from the other side of the room and knowing that I'm his mom is, an absolutely amazing feeling and I never knew I would feel this way now and if I could do it again start from the beginning I would tell myself to enjoy it and take it for what it is and not think into things too much but I've learnt and it's made me a lot stronger and for me to be able to do this video to speak to other mothers um, that are going through the same situation makes me feel also a lot better because it's good to know that you're not the only one and just remember you are doing a great job it is not easy some people find it easy some people don't and just enjoy it because you only get the first experience once and you wouldn't want to look back and regret that you was too worried about what other people think and things like that so enjoy it appreciate it take it for what it is and make sure you always take time for yourself that is a very important thing I know you never get time for yourself but at least 15 minutes a day you need to find something for yourself you know whether it be a bath whether it be reading a book which I can't concentrate to get into books because I never get time um, whether it be cooking yourself a certain kind of meal or watching your favourite TV programme something like that is you still having time for you and if you're in a relationship make sure you still go out on date nights and things like that still enjoy yourself you still are an individual just because you are a mother doesn't mean that you have to lose who you are I don't really want to go to, I think that's as far as I should go because I can talk for a very long time so yeah I think I'm just going to leave it as that and yeah, I um, I just wanted to express a little bit about how I felt and the, the pressures of the social media and the environment and all I want to say is that if that is you, enjoy it, appreciate it and know that you are doing a really good job. I hope that this can help some people or it might make you feel a little bit better and um, yeah, I will see you in my next story time next week. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!